good morning everyone well it's not actually morning for me it's like what uh five o'clock yeah it's, oh it's exactly five o'clock whoa okay i'm sick of doing that but anyways i'm going to do kind of like a short vlog today actually no it's just gonna be like an around the house vlog because um i'm still like being inside every day pretty much just working catching up on work and stuff I don't know, I'm not really making plans lately, kind of feeling really lazy, but I just wanted to update you guys on my lazy life here in Japan, but I did get some new stuff while I've been staying inside, and one of those things is, dun 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 dun, a lens for my Lumix. This is just one of the kit lenses. Actually, it's the same one that Kim uses. Um, reason being why I got this is because it's really good. And the fact that I was using it previously with her camera kind of like convinced me on buying it. I mean, I did look at like the other options, but mm, I just know this one's good and it works well for what I need it to do. So that's why I got it. So it has really good like autofocusing in camera without actually the lens moving. So it's kind of like a digital autofocus, which is definitely what I need when I do makeup tutorials. Because I move around a lot in them and I need the camera to be focusing on the makeup because like I went back to using my Nikon lenses that don't really have that autofocus capability and it was so bad like three of my videos ended up being out of focus majority of the time so I just had to like scrap the footage because I'm like so blind I can't see uh, far away enough to tell if it's actually in focus or not and then on top of which um, like I can't video tether with this camera unless I buy like specific software or something I think I don't know I was looking into it and I couldn't find any like tutorials or how to's on tethering live recording video to your PC or laptop to see like control the camera otherwise which was really disappointing I didn't know that but whatever but now I have that lens and it works great and just in case anyone's wondering it is a 12 to 35 millimeter um Lumix G Panasonic lens so it's really good, so if any of you guys are like into like camera stuff, then that's what I use on my main channel. And if you're not already subscribed to my main channel, maybe check it out, because that's where all like my beauty and super like informative videos go. Yeah. On the topic of my main channel, I've also been wondering, what would you guys prefer? Like, do you prefer when I do voiceovers for makeup tutorials, or do you prefer when I do actual talk throughs and keeping it really casual because my whole vlog channel is just me literally being me being myself and I don't really try to be anything else I don't try to put on a persona or give a certain vibe to my videos I just literally like I'm myself so I was wondering if you guys kind of want to see that same vibe in my main channel because I've noticed everyone seems to really like it on the vlog channel and I think maybe it would kind of help out my main channel if I brought that kind of personal like casual carefree attitude and just be myself in the videos and kind of have more like a split vlog split makeup tutorial attitude about it and not so like professional attitude and voiceover and very kind of I guess a scripted attitude anyways that's just my thought because I've noticed my main channel's kind of been dying these past couple of years and I think it's because my channel hasn't really expanded beyond the voiceover thing and I feel like it's old news, old history, people don't like that style anymore. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below which do you prefer, casual and carefree kind of vlog attitude towards makeup tutorials and makeup videos or do you like a more professional atmosphere with voiceovers? Let me know. And there's more that I bought you guys because since I bought a new lens I also wanted to buy some other stuff for my vlogging experience. Unfortunately, I didn't buy a new camera because the camera I want to get is like almost a thousand dollars. It's the Canon G7X and actually there's a new one that came out, but I don't know if I'll get it. Anyway, yeah, but I can't afford that yet, you guys. Like, that's so expensive. But my dad emailed me the other day and gave me like a whole like lesson on how my videos should be blah 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 and I was like dad it's a vlog channel it's not supposed to be educational I'm not like discovery channel in Japan that's not what my channel is about it's all about vlogging but the one thing that he stressed out is he didn't like when I film my food shots and it's like an up angle of my face so usually it's like 
I don't know, this angle of me eating. And he was like, don't, I don't want to see up your nose. I was like, I want to see up my nose, dad. But I thought that was pretty funny. So I figured I would take that note from my dad and buy a new selfie stick. So if you guys didn't already know, I use a selfie stick, but it's terrible because when I extend it, it always slides and then the camera faces downwards the other way, kind of like falls over. So this was like my first selfie stick ever that I got in Korea two years ago. And trust me, it's good, but it's got its downsides. So I figured I would upgrade my selfie stick. I mean, most people use like the Jill B tripod things, but I'm committed to that selfie stick life because it's perf. So I got this like hardcore selfie stick and then I attached a very mini Jill B tripod to the base so I can turn it into a standing tripod if I want or give it like support so I can like stand it up really easily like just bend the legs out and have it flat on a table. So this is like my new handheld and it still can extend really far so I can get those far away like selfie shots. I don't know. It's super corny and like really embarrassing but it works. It works. So I haven't used it out yet. I think it's going to be awkward at first because I'm so used to just having like this really simple pull it out of my purse type thing. But now this is not going to be so easy to pull out of my purse. But we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping it works well. It was a really cheap investment. I think I spent a total of like $40 on this combo. But I think it's going to make everything a lot easier and give me more angles and options when recording. Is that everything I bought? I feel like it is. Yeah, anyways, that is everything that I got in the past couple or three days over the weekend. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go for a walk right now and catch some Pokemon. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store and get some ingredients for a Tofu Buddha bowl. And I noticed it's kind of similar to the one that Sharla and Taylor always make with the peanut butter. So I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know. I don't really like peanut butter, but I saw a bunch of recipes for for that style of Buddha bowl on Pinterest and just seeing the pictures really made me hungry for it and I haven't had like a rice bowl in a long time because I don't normally eat rice so I figured I would do that so anyways enough blabbing on let's head out Alright you guys, after a long time I finally hatched a Bulbasaur that's a wonder. See how many candies I have, so let's do an evolving spree. Been waiting for this moment for like so long, you guys don't even know. Let's do it again. Finally. Can't believe how long I was waiting for that. Yay, so strong. Gonna get some sweet. Nom, nom, nom. Gonna get some leaves. Yum yum yum. Gonna get some of these. Gonna get some mushrooms. Kim got the mushrooms. Gonna get some strawberries. Yum yum yum. Gonna get some tomatoes. Gonna get one of these. Ooh, on sun tamago, yum! Let's get two of these actually. Gonna get some tofu, yeah. Gonna get some kimchi. This one's good. This one's a good one. Yeah. I'm not gonna have another Yeah. These ones are better, I noticed, like the canned ones. They're not as sweet. Gonna buy the last salmon, yeah. 
gonna get some sashimi. Mm. Always so tempting, but I never buy. So tempting. Always so much rice. No, don't do it. Gonna get some yogurt. Get two. Gonna get some maple syrup. Gonna buy some peanut butter. Gonna get some feta cheese. Muffin tops. Yeah, that's what it looks it's like. It's like it's like it says it's a nut cafe which is like I'm just like nostalgic. Nostalgic, yeah. Uh, nostalgic taste and it's sweet. So I like, love muffin okay. tops. Should we try it. Let's try these muffin tops. Sure, why not? Gonna buy this ice cream. Yeah. I've always noticed in Japan they don't like sell big tubs of ice cream. It's always like single servings. All right, you guys. So I made the boot apples. I didn't film the recipe because I have no idea if it's gonna taste like really good or not. But basically, in here I have white rice that I cooked, uh, leftover quinoa, uh, diced tomatoes, fresh leaf lettuce, broccoli, carrots, and then in the mixture I have the peanut sauce and mushrooms, capsicum or red pepper, and a little bit of onion and garlic, I think. And then on top I just have some chopped up parsley and um, green onion. And for the sauce, it's peanut butter, maple syrup, soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seeds, and a little bit of sriracha for spice. I think that's it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, so let's taste it and see how it is. Is it? Yeah, I think just a little bit of salt is good. Just a small? Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is pretty good. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely doesn't need a lot of sauce. That's good though, because it means that we have a ton of leftovers now. <laughs> oh, my package arrived. Perfect timing, right when I was vlogging myself eating, my package arrived because I finally took the time to order new circle lenses. They're not circle lenses, but just daily contact lenses. Because I've been having to wear my Salatica's Avella for like past forever it feels like like a month and I like them and they're really comfortable and good for daily use but it's just like I don't always feel like having that really bold dramatic bright eye because I'm used to my natural brown eyes so I just picked up more of my Lamar lenses the daily ones and I actually got a different color this time I got more of a natural brown with a bit of green in the center I wonder how they look Oh yeah, they look super natural. Oh wait, no, I didn't get the green ones. I got the blue ones, I think. Yeah. Sapia Moon. Ooh. So that's gonna be pretty. So you guys will probably see them in the next vlog. After this one, I'll probably be wearing them. And I always get them in my prescription. Those ones right there. Unfortunately, I haven't found a website yet that sells this line of circle lenses or contact lenses um but i'm i feel like this is a fairly new contact lens brand because i always see it being promoted everywhere here in japan especially online so it's probably like fairly new like within 2016 so i'm sure like eventually somewhere like pink icon will start selling it yeah but anyway you guys i'm going to continue to eat my buddha bowl and i'll check in later this is my life the past two nights you guys the Bachelor. Week three. I'm gonna try these um these muffin tops now. Do you want to try one? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even hungry, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, everyone. So I finished watching the episode of The Bachelor, like the third episode. It was really good. I don't know. A lot of people like 
don't like that kind of show because it's really like cheesy and corny. I mean, I used to hate it a lot um, back in the day, but the past three years I've really enjoyed it just because I feel like sometimes I can connect with the girls. Probably because I'm getting to the same age where everyone on that show is generally my age, which is kind of weird to think about because pretty soon that means I'm not going to be the same age as these girls. Oh, I'm glad I have love in my life. But anyways, I figure I'm going to try my muffin tops because apparently they're just like muffin tops. At least that's what they look like. 100%. So let's try. Let's see if they actually are just muffin tops. And they smell like it. It really does. They're kind of like, kind of smells like the tops of cupcakes. That's what it smells like. Mm. I'm not even hungry, but I'm going to eat it. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> it's literally just like the top of a cupcake. I guess you do kind of cut those off, like depending on the type that you make. Why would they call it nostalgic though? I guess when you bake cakes, like, usually you cut off the top before you layer the icing on it. So I guess if your mom made cakes a lot, it would be nostalgic for you. It's like, what is it, Kim? It's like, not, not cushy? Uh, it's a, um, sorry, I can't it. It's a, not cushy, it's like, it's like sweet. It's a sweet, but not like And then nostalgia? Like, sweet nostalgia, basically. Weird. Not sketchy. I guess it is kind of nostalgic. I mean, I've never been a huge fan of cake. But. Alright. I'll do it. I'm down. Like, I prefer it. Mm, like, if I'm going to eat something, like, similar in this genre of food or dessert. It's not going to be muffin tops or, like, the tops cut off of cakes. For me, it's really like raw brownie mix. I actually like that way more than actual brownies. I prefer brownie mix, but not like cake cake batter or cake dough or cookie dough. I don't like that raw. Just brownie mix is my absolute favorite. It's so bad for you. It's so right. So good. You're so good right now. I don't regret buying this. But I'll probably never buy it again. Because it's not that good. I mean, it's pretty good, but it's not that good. Alright, you guys. So, I'm going to end the vlog here tonight. Because I realized I've been on my phone playing this, like, piano music game for the past, I don't know, two hours or something like that. Because it's super addicting. So, if you guys haven't, like, found piano apps on your phone, then you need to totally, like, check that out. Because it's super addicting. I play like magic piano right now and it's really good so I definitely recommend it. Not sponsored by the way obviously. But yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here for tonight. I hope you enjoyed seeing like another daily life in Japan at home going grocery shopping and what I eat and stuff like that. And remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!